Hi. Welcome to day one of SimFi. Today we will learn about basic tools of SimFi and create some basic simulations. So let's start. Here from these four icons we can get the tools of different modules namely mechanics, circuits, optics and geometry. For today we will only focus on the mechanics part. Click on the mechanics icon. You can see a bunch of tools appearing on the main window. This set of icons helps you create different types of bodies. You can get more options if you click on the drop down icon. If you hover upon any icon, you will get an idea of what kind of shape it is creating. Let's create a platform where all our bodies will lie. So, for that, click on the wall icon and drag the mouse to create a platform. Click on the disk icon, then on any part of the world, left click and drag the mouse to create different sizes of disks. Let's create some rings following the same process as above. Let's create a few rectangles as well using the rectangle tool. Let's take a snapshot of the window, so that if anything gets haywire we can get back to this state easily. You can access all your snapshots from here. Right now the simulation is in the paused state. You can play. Pause, reset, and change simulation speed with these tools below. Let's play the simulation. Now let's create some joints and join the already created bodies with the help of these. These tools let you create different types of joints. Hover upon any of them to get an idea of what they will be creating. Distance joint. This let you create a rod-like joint between a body and the world or between two bodies. Spring joint. This let you create a spring joint between a body and the world or between two points. Revolute joint. If you use this upon any body that object will only be free to rotate about that joint. Let's play the simulation. You will get more options by clicking on this drop down menu. Now let's create our first simulation. So, our first simulation will look something like this, where there is a card attached to the wall with a spring. So, for this, first we will create a ground and a wall. Simply use the wall icon and drag the mouse to create both. Now, let's create a rectangle that will be our card body. Click on the rectangle icon and drag the mouse again to get it. Now let's create the wheels of our cart. For this select the disk icon and then go to the place where you want to keep the center of the disk and drag the mouse. For creating the second wheel we will copy paste the first one. Just use Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. When done you will see a disk 1 appearing on the left side of the object tree. Right now the pasted disk is overlapping on the previous one. Use the right arrow key to shift the disk to the right side. Now let's etch the wheels to the cart with the help of revolute joint, so that they can freely rotate about the joint. Now let's create a spring joint attaching the cart with the wall. Use the spring icon from the joints menu. Keep pressing the shift key to create accurate horizontal spring joints. Run the simulation again. Congrats! You have created your first simulation. Let our cart oscillate a bit, for this drag the cart with mouse and leave. Here you have an oscillating cart. Now let's visualize the forces that are acting on the cart or on the wheels. So for this we will need the visualization tools. You can get some visualization tools from here. So click on the first icon that's the free body diagram. Now after selecting the FBD tool click on any body whose forces you want to visualize. Let's select on the cart. Here you can see the different forces acting on this cart. To hide the forces again click on the cart. Click on the wheels to see the forces acting on the wheels. Now let's visualize the motion of a point on the wheels. 
For this we will use the tracer tool. Click on the tool and, and then select any point on the wheel whose path we want to trace. To remove the tracers on any body, right click on that body, go to reset and select remove all tracers. So in this example we have learned many things. Like how to create different bodies, attach them with different joints and visualize their motion using visualization tools. Let's create our second simulation. In this we will create two balls whose centers lie on the same vertical line and let them free fall. We will try to visualize their motion and study the reasons behind such behavior. Now we want to create a disk exactly one above the other, for this we will open the grid view. Benefit of grid view is that whenever we click the mouse to create any objects it automatically gets snapped to the nearest grid intersection point and lets one create accurate measurement objects. Let's create our first disk, the bigger one with the help of the disk tool. Now you can see when you select the center of the disk it is automatically snapped on the grid points. Now let's create another smaller disk just above the bigger one. Use the grid to mark its center position and then create the smaller disk. Take a snapshot again so that we won't lose our work. If you want to change the restitution of the balls you do that by clicking on that body and then editing the restitution tab in the properties bar. Let's make the restitution to 1. Now run the simulation. Here we can see the smaller ball jump back to a great height. Why so? Reset the simulation. Now let's check the forces acting on the smaller ball using the FBD tool. Now we want to run the simulation slowly when the ball is going to hit the ground. For this we will use the Q button from the keyboard. It will run the simulation step by step for each press of the button. Press the Q again and again when the ball is just gonna hit the ground. Here you will see a very large impulse acting on the smaller ball for a very small amount of time. So that's all for the first day. We will see you again. Thank you.